Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Question and Answer. Received a question from a listener, and I would like to try to answer that. And if you have any questions, you can send them to me through email at scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. And I know sometimes reading the Bible and studying the Bible uh, creates questions as well as answers. And if you want to send them to me, I will do my best to answer them. And as I said, we received in, uh, a question the other day. And uh, here it is. And this, this is a tough one. The writer says, Why do you think Joseph didn't go back for his dad? And those of you who are familiar with the Old Testament know um, what he's talking about here. The patriarch, Jacob, had 12 sons. And one of them was his favorite, the second youngest, was Joseph. And his 10 older brothers were jealous of him. So because his father loved him so much, because he was a, a young man, just a young man, 17, 18, I think he was. I don't remember. I think 17. A young man of integrity. They were older than him, but he was much more mature than they were and more godly. And his dad could count on him. So his dad treated him well. Well, one day he was uh, out by them where they were keeping sheep out in the country, a ways away from home. And his brothers, his 10 older brothers, saw him coming and they were filled with anger and jealousy. And so they grabbed him and they eventually sold him to some slave traders who took him down into the land of Egypt. And uh, there he became a slave in the palace of the, of the king, of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. He served a fellow by the name of Potiphar and he served him well. He did everything as unto the Lord. He lived for God when it wasn't easy. He lived for God when things were not fair. And he kept his integrity when enticed to do wrong. Well, he was falsely accused and he was end up, ended up uh, being sent into prison where he was for several years. Uh, through uh, some things that happened, which I will not get into, he was let out of prison and immediately he was exalted to the second highest position in all of Egypt. In other words, he was like vice president of Egypt. Pharaoh was the only one who had more power and authority than Joseph had. Now, the question is this. Why didn't Joseph send for his father when he reached this position of power and authority? He certainly would have had the power and the authority to do something like that, you would think. And he already had the favor of the king. King thought the world of Joseph. Why didn't he send for his dad? Because him and his dad were so close. And you would think that Joseph, right, would send for his father, or at least send word that he was okay, so that his father would not worry about him. I don't know why. That's the answer. I do not know. That's what makes this such a tough one. God doesn't give us the answer. I can tell you what I think. You don't have to agree with me, that's for sure. But I think possibly that, number one, Joseph was very busy. He was given an enormous task down in Egypt when he took over a second command. So, you know, he didn't have time to run home. It was a six-day journey, but he didn't have time to do it. He was occupied probably every day doing his work. And it was a vital work, and it was a critical work. He could have still sent someone, so that doesn't fully satisfy me. But that's the first thing that popped into my mind. The second answer that I will speculate on, I think, is more in line, more in line with Scripture and with Joseph's character. And it is this. Joseph was not told by God to go there and send for his father or even send word for his father to his father that he was okay. You say, well, why would God do that? I don't, I don't know. But when you look at Joseph's character, even during his difficult times down in Egypt and before when he was at home with his father, he lived for God. He was, he was determined to do the right thing, whether it was easy or not. So I'm going to err on the side of caution with Joseph and give him the benefit of the doubt and suggest to you that he prayed to God and asked him if he should send for his father or at least send word 
to his father or if he wanted him to wait and trust that eventually God would bring them together. That's what I think the best answer is because that's in line with the character of Joseph. And, uh, and you know, God's timing is perfect. Joseph certainly found that out because he was told before he ever left home in a dream by God that he would eventually be the ruler and his brothers and even his father would bow down before him. That, that, that had a delay already of 13 years and it still had not happened. So Joseph, if you're a righteous person like Joseph, you not only do the right thing, but you trust in God and his timing and you want to be led by him. So I will suggest to you that he prayed and God did not give him the okay, but Joseph knew that someday they would be brought together and they were when the time was right and God used that delay and he used the regathering of Joseph and his brothers and his father to work out his plan and purpose. Well, if you have a question for me, you can send it through email to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Or you can call and leave it on the voicemail at 715-216-2172. 715-216-2172. And for more of God's Word, make sure you check out the Scripture Verse by Verse website, which is found at thebibleversebyverse.com. And study the Word of God verse by verse from Genesis through Revelation. So long, everyone.